So I just did a video on my other channel, Bravo Von Mueller channel, and I did it. It was a Star Trek metaphor analogy about the death of, or fake death, of Jeffrey Epstein. And this is just a perfect example how everybody is in on it. If you're in government or corporation, Google, for example, look, Google, no ads, limited ads. Everybody's in on it except for you and I. If you do not have a job, like you and I, we don't have a job, we're not in on the scam, but everybody else is in on the scam. There was a few things I missed in the last video, and I just wanted to talk about it. No, but really, it's a big club, and you and I are not in it. It's called the Federal Reserve Council in New York. I mean, we've got to stop electing these New York people. They, 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 they're they arrogant, and they think that they can play with us, toy with us. Look at the ear there on Epstein. This is when they're hauling him out of this jail cell. He's apparently dead. The ear's different. The nose is different. I don't know if he had a nose job early in life. But, I mean, apparently, look, that's his nose in real life when he was alive. And that's his nose when he's hauling him out of jail. I mean, look at the ear. I mean, these New Yorkers, they are so arrogant. They believe that us Americans are so stupid that they can just play with us and toy with us. They're probably laughing at us. Can you imagine that? I don't know if they're using some sort of wax face or what they're doing, but this psyop is falling apart so quickly. I mean, the world is changing and everybody has a camera. I mean, when they're hauling his ass out there, there's probably 20 people standing out there on the sidewalk. Somebody catches a picture of it. I mean, this is Epstein's real, air, real ear when he was alive, and then this is some sort of wax fake facsimile <laughs> I mean it's almost laughable this psyop I mean so I have to just add this on into um my uh, other video at the end of this video I will tack on the uh, the first video I made on the subject where I had the Star Trek metaphor analogy so we'll just keep on laughing at these morons okay we got to get down to it it comes down to the New Yorkers We've, we've got to get New Yorkers out of positions of power. It also goes for L.A. too. You think those people in L.A. who are in power, it's on both coasts. L.A., New York, they control Hollywood. I mean, even in L.A., really what they are is New Yorkers who were sent to L.A. Okay, When you've got the Federal Reserve Council, when you've got an organization based in New York which can print up Trillions and trillions of dollars. Think about it. During the banking collapse, during the housing collapse, George Bush, oh, we hate to do this, but we're going to have to print up some money and give it to the banks. And the banks are located all in, the head of the banks are in New York. They only care about themselves, these bankers. And the bankers control everything. I mean, for God's sake, they push a button, they print money, they buy up all the newspapers, they buy up all the TV channels, they buy up everything. They buy up, Google buys up YouTube, and then they, and they, and they push you down. They're working on a way right now to shut me up and shut people up like all of They're going to shut us down. We're going to call them domestic criminals, domestic. They're going to shut us down. Damn, New York. Bastards, but they do it in piecemeal, a little bit of time. First, they demonetize you and they limit you, and then they then they pass laws. Yes, you think you're a nationalist or something? You're a you're a conspiracy nut. Well, you are now a threat to the United States of America. We're going to pass laws to shut you down. It's coming. It's coming. That's what. That's. That's why we've got to get these New York bastards out of positions of power. As long as these New York bastards are in control, you and I are not safe. Period. Did the Mossad use a triox compound to fake Jeffrey Epstein's death in his jail cell? For many of you who were around in 1966, you know what the triox compound is. But for the younger generation, you're just going to have to stick around and watch the video to find out. So, this is no surprise to many of us. I mean, the information that Jeffrey Epstein had on some very powerful people, come on. I mean, this was never, ever going to go to trial. Never. I mean, most of us knew this from the get-go. 
And if you really think about it, this is not really that big of a PSYOP. I mean, it's been done a thousand times or more. I mean, and if you can get over 300 million Americans to believe that two airplanes brought down three skyscrapers, I mean, <laughs> quite frankly, you can get Americans to believe just about anything. I mean, this was never going to trial. I mean, this guy had too much information on too big of, of people. We're talking about presidents of the United States, and he's got, they got videos on almost everybody in Congress, in the Senate. I mean, it, it's so scary. Okay, to the younger generation who don't know anything about the uh, Triox compound, here we have Tapao. Now, she was the great Tapao, and she's the only person to turn down a seat on the Federal Reserve Council. And she was fooled when Dr. McCoy gave... Kirk, an injection of the T-pox or the Triox compound, and he faked his death. I mean, it, it, it's happened before. We saw it in 1966. I mean, and they even have more advanced chemical compounds now that can put you in a near-death scenario. I mean, seriously, it would be quite easy to fool a prison doctor, especially if you can fool the great Tapao. And actually, we have to be kind of careful talking about the, the Pond Far, you know, Pond Far was Spock's reproduction cycle, and talking about the Califi, that was the challenge on Balkan, because just talking about this can get us put on the FBI's list of domestic criminals, okay? So I'm pretty sure just by talking about, you know, how Dr. McCoy injects Kirk with a triox compound, chemical. I mean, this is going to get me investigated by the FBI. And that's sad how far America has fallen. That we cannot even debate or talk about things that are pretty obvious. I mean, like I said, this has been done before. And we all know the information. Let's talk, let's talk frankly here. We all know that Jeffrey Epstein was an intelligence officer. I mean, he may have been higher than officer. He might have been like a general. He was like the star. I mean, this guy was the guy who got the goods on everybody. Every single powerful person in America, he's got the goods on him through using the honeypot. I mean, this goes back thousands of years. But, of course, we're not really allowed to talk about it because, like I said, the FBI is now, you know, investigating Americans who think like we do, you know, when we use our brain and actually think that something's possible. No, you're supposed to get up in the morning, have your cereal, which God knows how these corporations make the cereal, put some contaminated milk on it. God knows what kind of compounds they inject those cows with, okay? Then you go to work for eight hours, obey the corporation's orders to bow down for a paycheck, try not to flirt with the skirts or you will have a to bring as a spell on me moment, a.k.a. the Me Too movement.